Hi, and welcome to the iMac G3 Extravaganza. Today I'll quickly show you how to take part an iMac G3, in case you wish to clean the case or replace parts inside it. Alright, to begin with we need two boxes to store screws in, and we're going to need a screwdriver to take apart the case plastics. The first step you're going to want to take is you're going to want to flip the iMac G3 onto the top like so. Once we've got it flipped over onto its back, our first step is to remove the VGA cover by sticking a screwdriver underneath it. The cover will come off and you will be greeted by four screws on the inside. The first screws that we're going to want to undo are the two on the front. We'll now spin the iMac around. The two screws that we're interested in are these ones over here. The two long ones located on the outer edges. The next step is to take off this back cover. This is a bit more sketchy as it requires brute force. What you want to do is you want to start lifting up on the back side of the case, as you can see here. This side will come up and you will notice that it locks in on the front. What you need to do now is you need to apply force until the case clips out. What you'll notice is these two plastic snaps over here should be intact and that's good. Now my unit seems to have a bit of internal damage and there was some plastic rattling around inside it. I will now be removing these plastic pieces which have broken off. If any plastic pieces break off you can generally glue them back in place but my recommendation is to remove them. Now that we've pulled off the back cover we can locate the two hidden screws on the front of the iMac. These are located under these slightly discolored plastic flaps on my unit. So just take a small screwdriver, stick it underneath and then slowly pry it out. That way you will not break any of these plastic pieces off. Right, now the step is to take a screwdriver and take out these two bottom screws here. Now that we've flipped the unit back into its upright position, we can take a soft plastic prying tool and pry up this plastic cover on the front of the unit. My next step now is to remove this blue plastic which protects the CRT. The CRT is a dangerous component so you'll need to make sure that you're taking certain precautions. I recommend if you don't know what you're doing, watch a couple of videos on how to deal with CRTs or just generally leave this piece of plastic in place. To remove the top plastic you will find another two plastic clips on the top of the case. Once the plastic covers are off, simply undo the top two screws here. Before you can remove this blue cover, there is another couple of screws located at the bottom of the computer. And you will find that there is four screws located around the back of the computer on the blue plastic. There is a fifth screw also located at the back of the case. Simply undo it, you don't need to remove it from the case. To remove the plastic casing, you're going to push down on the blue case until these three plastic clips that are on the front of the case look like they're about to come out. Then you can simply pull the case to the side. Repeat this on both sides and you should be able to lift off the blue plastic cover. As I already prefaced, the CRT is a dangerous component, so don't go around touching bits that you're unfamiliar with. In my case, I've already discharged the CRT's cathode, but I'm not putting this in this video as it's not part of the scope. As all of these units are 20 to 21 years old, cleaning all of these plastic pieces is going to take you some time, if you intend to do it to a good standard. After you finish cleaning the unit or performing whatever maintenance you thought was necessary, it's time to reassemble the case plastics. Take the blue cover and slide it underneath the Mac like so. Make sure that the three plastic snaps slot into their little slots. And then lift up on the case cover until it clicks back into its original position.
Now that we've cleaned out the whole top part of the computer, what we'll do next is take out the lithium battery that's located on the motherboard. I like to do this because the batteries do have a potential to leak and ruin your entire motherboard, especially after about 20 years of storage or 21 years of storage. So the first step to do is to take off this RF shielding, which you can do by just undoing all of the screws along the outer edge. Once we've taken off the perimeter screws, we can lift off the RF shielding. This component here is the lithium battery, which we're going to be removing. The main reason you want to remove this cell is it is over 20 years old now, which means it has a very high potential to leak all over your motherboard and destroy some components. Once we have done this, we can now pop our bottom cover back onto the iMac. Make sure that the bottom plastic lines up with the audio jacks on the front of the case and the two plastic snaps clip into the front. And that's it. We've completely reassembled our iMac G3. And what we'll notice about the unit now is it's significantly cleaner than when we started off. And last but not least, we take our lithium battery and dispose of it appropriately. And to end the video on a positive note, that's it and thank you for watching.